In this video, we're going to go over how to create the glowing line effects the most quickest and efficient way possible. So I'm going to drag in my dance footage I found on YouTube. First thing I'm going to do is duplicate my footage by hitting Command D. And then I'm going to double click on it. Next thing, I want to hit the brush tool right here. And this is how we're going to generate this cool glowing line effect. If you don't have your brush, and paint over on your right right here just go to window and make sure your brush and paint is selected now for the brush if we want our stroke to be even smaller we're gonna hold down command and then I'm gonna left click and I can adjust the size right here or you can do it by hitting this but for this video I'm just gonna hit a 5 and then I want to change the color to red and I want to change the channel to RGBA and then for the duration, I want to hit single frame. So every single frame, we're going to draw a new one. Now make sure you don't select the white color, just select the red one. This will be important in the future. Next thing you want to do is start at the beginning of your keyframe and then start writing on wherever you want. Now to easily go to next frame like I'm doing right here, just hit the page down on your Mac keyboard. Now when I get to the shirt, maybe I want to just have fun with it and make a cool design on it. Now after you're done with each of your frames, you should have something looking something like this. And now let's move over to the next step. I'm going to go over to my main comp right here. And then I'm going to go to effects, controls, dance right here. And then I'm going to select paint on transparent. And what this does right here, let me turn the bottom footage off so you can see what's going on. So this one's going to isolate just the paint right here. Now, if this was white, like I said from the beginning, uh, this would not work. So I like to use red or a green color for the RGBA. Now, if you want to change the color, just go in here and type in fill. And let's drag on a fill. And then now we can change it to any color we would like. And for this example, let's just use green. And now I want to put a glow effect on it. So I'm just going to type in glow. And for my style, I'm just going to drag a glow. And to better see this glow, let me turn on the bottom frame. And let's adjust this glow right here. Now, I actually just want this to be white right now. So I can do the glow in this right here. So for my color A, I'm just going to have it be green. And then for my glow colors, I'm going to select A and B colors. And then color B right here, I'm just going to select green again. And for the glow intensity, let me bring it up some more. And the radius, let me bring that up. And now if we click play, you should have something looking like this. Now let's go ahead and do the hat right here. It's another technique I like to do. Now for the brush, I might want it slightly smaller. And I'm going to want to move to consistent right here. And what that does, whatever you draw, it's just going to stay on screen. So let me just outline his hat right here. And then I want to go back to my main comp. I want to go to the green light we have here. And I just want to copy, fill, and glow. And then I want to go back to my hat comp right here, my footage. And then I'm going to hit paint transparent. And then I'm going to paste in the hat right here. Now I'm going to hit P on my keyboard to bring up the position. And I just want to put a timestamp right here. And as I move along the frame, I'm just going to position it right where his hat is. Then I'm just going to cut the frame because I want it to shut off right here. Now we should have it tracked on his head right here. And there's other better ways to track this instead of hand tracking it. But this is just quick and easy right here. Now here's what we have so far. Now we can just have some fun with it like right around here. Maybe I want this pink thing to go down his arm and then it will appear to be like a circle or a shape as he lifts his arm up right here. Now we have something creative like this. His hat turns into some type of box or something. So, so far, just messing around, have something like this. Maybe have him drop it because it looks like his hand goes down. Now I'm going to have this like splatter on the ground. So now we have this cool looking drop. And I notice it looks like for some reason he's about to ride like a bicycle. So let's just draw a bike on him. Now here's just a random picture I found to help reference drawing this bicycle. Now after I drew my bike, I'm just going to hit this, put on the presets I have for this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this bike right here a 3D object so I can move it in 3D space. 
just like this. And I'm gonna put all my timestamps down right here. And I'm gonna move along and I'm gonna try to follow the, the 3D space with this bike like this, maybe position it by his hands. So now we have some bike looking thing like this and it's looking okay, but we wanna make it better. And make sure you guys have this motion blur on it because that's gonna help with the motion. Now one saw for this to make it look better is I'm gonna have this like glitch on. I'm gonna hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity. Just gonna make a timestamp right here and then set this to zero. Now adding that glitch on effect is looking a lot more better for this bicycle. And I hope you guys like this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time.